guest is very impressive. He's a 16-year-old medal-winning skateboarder who on May 17th made X Games history when he landed the first 1080 in mega ramp competition. That is three full rotations in the air. Never been done before. Take a look. Because he's going higher than he's done before. Right. and I'm sure this is going to change things in Skateboard Big Air. Please welcome Mitchie Brusco. Wow. Uh, so much to talk about. First of all, Mitchie, that was three revolutions in the air. Yeah, four, three full 360s. Three full 360s. And uh, is it possible to do more? Like, what's the ne next step? Can you do more? Can a human being do more than what you just did? Um... <laughs> Well, people do more on snowboards, uh, right. so I think it is possible. Ah, those guys, who knows what they're on? I'm talking about. <laughs> um, this is know, a skateboard. I don't know if I, mean, I want to. You don't know if you want to? It's Go. really scary. Um, That's scary? Kind of. But uh, I think by the end of my career, I think I could possibly do more than that if I really pursued it and if I really wanted to. But I think the progression of skateboarding is in other areas than just spinning. Like combining tricks with a 1080, I think would be a little bit more impressive than just spinning another 180. Wait a minute, so you're saying that you would do a 1080, but be making a waffle while you're doing it? Or, or ordering a pizza or <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I can't imagine doing, I couldn't imagine you doing that, and then I see you do that, and now you're saying, now let's ramp it up and we'll add things. I'll put on a sports jacket <laughs> and paint on a mustache as I'm doing the 1080. <laughs> that blows my mind. How do you, I mean, how do you even prepare for, how do you prepare to do that? You must fail many times before you, you get it right. I mean, as you can see, I'm wearing a lot of pads when I do. I have knee pads, elbow pads, and a helmet on. And uh, what you can't see is I actually have butt pads, which are actually shorts with pads sewn into them. I right. have a rib protector, even a little bit of shoulder pads, just in case it, it goes really wrong. I wear, uh, <laughs> I wear uh, butt pads for aesthetic reasons on the show. <laughs> I have no butt, so it's all, it, but you don't need to hear about that, and you shouldn't. Um, what I'm amazed is that you have, apparently, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Watch it, kid. <laughs> you have a fear of heights, which uh, I can't yeah, believe. Yeah, I actually do. Um, it's not so much on my skateboard. It's, it's when I'm standing up on the mega ramp, uh, that, that clip you saw. That's How high is the mega ramp? Would you... It's about 90 feet tall the highest point of it, so I get, I'm freaked out when I'm up there, I like looking over the edge and stuff, but when I'm on my skateboard, I know I'm gonna be fine. Like I know I'm not gonna fall off the ramp or I'm gonna make it over the gap and I'm gonna be fine when I'm on my skateboard, but when I'm up there and just like standing and with it shaking a little bit, it freaks me out. That's so funny that you're up 90 feet in the air, it frightens you, but the minute you get on the little board with wheels <laughs> and prepare to fly through space, you're like, now we're good. <laughs> You are, by the way, we heard before the show uh, that one of your favorite milkshakes uh, is, uh, is peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted butter. you to have one, not oh. the other, yeah. I just want you to have one to keep you. you know. It's awesome, thank you. Andy wanted one too, but he has a lot of Kahlua in it. We, <laughs> it was actually, it was all Kahlua, I think. <laughs>